guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black Walkthrough. Okay, so here we are. We're about to head into Route 6, 7? I completely forgot. I'm just doing it right now. Okay, so yes, Route 7 right here. And we're going to be going into the Celestial Tower. But on the, in the meantime, we're going to be battling a buttload of trainers and, uh, you know, making our names known that, yes, we are the number one person here in Unova. So let's go right ahead and start battling people at that and uh, go ahead and try and evolve uh, uh, Sh Shatter 2 because the homeboy uh, still needs to evolve. The last Pokemon to evolve. Now, if you go here, if you stay up a little too long, you're going to lose your balance and fall into the grass. But if you start running... You'll actually keep your balance right there. Now, if you want to avoid battling everybody right here or the grass, I would take the little, you know, balance beam right there. That way you don't get attacked or anything. Now, you can actually find Cub Chews here, too. Look at that little Cub Chews. Look at that. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that little booby that's coming out of it. It's a cute little Cub Chew. All right, so we're going to be moving on right here. And, uh, yes, we're, again, we're going to be getting attacked by a lot of Pokemon, especially uh, Dealing right here now. I think I've explained in the last two episodes how I wanted Deerling. Yeah. And how, like, its move, its move pool is pretty interesting. It can learn fighting type, dark type moves, and all that crud. And, uh, well, that, was, like, that was an option right there when I when I wanted it. But right now, yeah, I think I'm pretty set with the team that I have. So, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna battle the people in the grass and then make my way all the way to Celestial Tower. Sometimes you find more than just strong Pokemon in tall grass. Okay, let's do this. So the first battle of the day, we're going to be facing um, youngster Mikey, and he is coming out with his Dweeble, or Dweeble, or I don't even know how to, uh, how to pronounce that right there, but it's a bug type Pokemon that covered in a goddamn rock. So let's go with an air cutter here. Hopefully that actually does something. So here we go, fly, or air cutter. And nearly takes him out because it does have a sturdy attack or sturdy effect. And now it is uh, speeding up a... Just a little bit. Oh, crud. Okay, so here we go. Psy Beam. Psy Beam. And, oh crud, that stealth rock right there is gonna screw my team over if I switch. Alright, here we go. Psy Beam does its trick right there. Look at that. Look at that. My Pokemon are kicking butt. And he's gonna be coming out with a Simi Sage, so I'm gonna stay put right here with Giga Lift and look at that. Simi Sage looks like a grass type Super Saiyan. So we're gonna go with a fly. Hopefully we don't get hit or anything like that. Alright, so here we go. Fly attack. Does its thing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's right. Simi Sage had no chance whatsoever right there. And a Mikey. Oh yeah, he's feeling pretty bad right there. So now. Let's go right ahead and start using some other Pokemon right here. Now, if you guys remember in the last episode, too, uh, Sigh of the Torrent, Hotshot, uh, Drillmonger, Ace, you know, one, it wasn't all in one episode, but my Pokemon started evolving all, like, right around the same level, which is very, very good because we're, we're definitely heading into, like, the territory where we're going to be uh, battling some more powerful trainers here. Oh! Oh! What? That's not a Pokemon. It's just an ordinary trainer. Okay, well, that's a dick way of saying it, but then again, it's whatever. Okay, so here we go. Parker wants the battle, and he's coming out with his Pelpitude right here. It's looking all mean and everything. So let's go with Stoutland from Scotland, Mr. Ace right here. And, uh, let's see, uh, we're going to go with a Crunch Attack right now. Alrighty. Cannot wait to start teaching Ace some elemental moves right here. And, uh, oh, crud, here comes that Mud Shot. And yes, we're going to be losing some accuracy right now, but it's okay. Stellan from Scotland will use his takedown attack, and that will finish off this bubble-headed guy right there. Oh, yes. I love these toad Pokemon right here. Kind of reminds me of, uh, third grade. Yes, it kind of reminds me of third grade. Back when I was in third grade. It's a little bit of a, a backstory to Draven right here. Back when I was in third grade, the school district... That, that I was a part of didn't have enough room for the third graders of, of, of whatever school that I was going to. I don't know why. It's kind of ironic. Probably because the town that I lived in was kind of growing. So they sent our third, like they sent uh, third graders for five different schools into one third grader school. It was kind of like a middle school for third graders. And in this third grade uh, school, we were next to like a what was it? It was kind of like a swampy area or something. 
kind of like a little uh, little swampy area where you can actually find little uh, little toads, uh, little uh, frogs, or baby, what do you call it, polytoads, or no, not polytoads, polywogs, that's what you call them, yes, where you can actually find polywogs right there, and I remember going out, out, out to recess, trying to catch one of these things, it wasn't until our teacher, she actually found, uh, what was it, yeah, she actually found a few polywogs, and you know, kept them, uh, well, actually got some polywogs and then put them in a, a little container and we saw these little polywogs grow. Eventually, when school was out, these little polywogs right here actually turned into little frogs and we released them by the end of the school year. So that was a pretty good, uh, pretty good thing of, uh, you know, evolution and all that stuff. Oh, be not, or bold enough to talk to me, are you? You're quite the trainer. I like you. Take this DM. And look at that, we get the TM-57 Charge Beam, which is a very, very good move. When a Charge Beam, or when a Pokemon uses a Charge Beam, sometimes its special attack grows up. If you're lucky, the power will just keep going up. That is true. Let's see if this move can actually, uh... Well, let's see if this move, or if, uh, one of my Pokemon can actually learn this move right here. I kinda need to, so let's see, Charge Beam. Alrighty, and, uh, well, there's one Pokemon that can learn it. So I'm going to teach Giggle a bit because there's a move right there that it, do it doesn't really need and it's Synchro Noise or something like that, so there we go. And uh, let's see, Sky Drop. It's a, yeah, it's a two-part move right there. I already have a two-part move for that one right there. So let's see, Retaliate. Eh, I could use that for someone. And then like we got Volt Switch, but nobody else can learn this move. I need a true electric type Pokemon for this one. And uh, let's see, we got Thunder Wave. Let's see, what what can this do right here? Well, uh, Ace can learn it. I'll eventually teach it something. Something's gonna be learned. So let's go straight and uh, battle this guy right here. All right, what do you have to say, homeboy? I wanted to go to the Celestial Tower, but I got lost and stranded. How do you get lost and stranded? It's like straight up ahead. Oh god. Okay, so here we go, battling uh, Terrence right here. And uh, he's coming out with the Simis here, so right around this point you're going to start seeing evolutions of the uh, elemental monkeys right now. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and use some crunch attack right here. Crunch. Make sure to eat your crunch. And, uh, yes, that takes away his defense just a little bit. And, uh, crud, that, that was a okay, critical hit right there. So, let's get another crunch attack. Let's finish this guy off right now. Yeah, buddy. There goes Simis here. Ace goes to level 36. Yeah, buddy. And he is learning Retaliate right here. Let's see, what kind of a move is this? The user uses gets revenge for falling. I think I already, I, we, I just saw this. Okay, so I'm not really gonna teach it right now. No, we're gonna keep the move right there. Okay, so let's, yeah, let's take this victory right here. Okay. Alrighty, so that's, that's that, and uh, let's go right ahead and switch our Pokemon right now to Sigh of the Torrent right here. Let's take care of business right now. So we found a few houses, or there's one house right here. I wonder what this house has. I think this is the one where they heal us. Let's see. I love Pokemon move, or the Pokemon moves Giga Drain, and, or Mega Drain and Giga Drain. Your opponent, your opponent's HP is reduced, and your user HP increases. True. Let's see. Kid, have you got any boulder? If you have, would you trade your Bulldor for my Molga? Actually, no, I don't have a Bulldor, but that's kind of a shitty, uh, it's kind of like a shitty trade. <laughs> it is a shitty trade, so let's go straight forward right here and, uh, get attacked by another Pokemon, because why not? Oh, look at that, and yes, you can actually find Zipstrico right here. Another good Pokemon that I kind of would have had, but no, no, no. I like Ace better. I do, I like Ace. So we're gonna go run away right here, and we're gonna take care of more business, god dang it. Oh, so this Zib Striker wants to be a part of the team, but I don't want to. I think it wasn't like the last two Black Walkers that I actually had that I kind of wanted to put Zib Striker in my team, or I did put it in my team, and this guy will not leave me alone! Okay, you little asshole. See what you're doing right there? It's not super effective. And, oh crud, its speed has gone up. I'm running away. Come, oh god dang it, okay. Alrighty, so its speed is going up all the way right here, and uh, he is leaving me no choice but to kick its ass, so that's what I'm going to do right here, you're going to be seeing another battle. Let's go with Grass Knot, 
Okay, he just fished me into this. He's going for a shockwave. You little slut! Okay, here we go. Rasnot. And, uh, okay, so it's a fight to the end right here. Who wants it? This guy's going for another shockwave attack. Oh, you little slut. And, uh, yeah, that's what happens when you can't run away. And look at that, Zip Striker. Faint. Fatality. Not really. But still, it was like a nice battle right there, so you assholes in Striker. Okay, uh, I know we're going to be battling that guy right there, so let's go right ahead and heal our Pokemon again with a little bit of Moo Moo Milk. It really does need it. And uh, look at that. Fills up 100 points right there. Let's go right ahead and battle this guy right here. See what he has to say. Rotation battles are new Pokemon battles in which uh, the positions always change. I will overpower you while you are confused. Are you serious? We're going to... Oh, crap. So here we go, guys, a rotation battle. Now, if you guys remember the last time we did a rotation battle, we kind of sucked at it. Like, half our team got eliminated. So hopefully we got a good team right here. Oh, yes, we do have a good team. And two out of the three Pokemon are weak against uh, fighting-type moves. But I'm not going to risk it because homie right here, I know he's going to he's gonna try and move it around. Okay, never mind. He's going to use Fake Out. Okay, so let's go right ahead and use Razor Shell. And he's going with the Watchog right here, so let's go. Eat this Watchog. Oh, yes. And nearly faints right there. And let's see, we're going to do it again. I'm just going to go with side of the Torm right here. Everybody can just watch and see. There we go. Eat that Watchog. Slut. Okay, okay. Everybody's getting points right here. And Shadow grows to level 38. One more level, and yes, it will evolve. And it's learning crunch. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm going to teach it crunch right here. I'm gonna give it I'm gonna switch out a faint attack. So there we go. And look at that. Crunch attack. And uh, I know he's gonna rotate his Pokemon right here. Alright, let's see. Should I rotate mine? Alright, let's go with the charge beam right here. Rotation right here. Charge beam. Yep, he picked the right Pokemon, and uh, here we go. Eat this charge beam. Oh wow, it sounds like it sounds graphic right there. And yes, yeah, the super effect or super effective and the increase in the special attack right there, which is good. Always good right there. But I have a feeling this guy's gonna switch out his Pokemon one more time, so I'm gonna go with another charge beam. Alrighty. Look at that. Charge beam and takes care of that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, okay, alrighty, alrighty. So there goes Swoobat. He's not feeling so great, and uh, that leaves me, or that leaves this Pokemon open for a fighting type attack. So let's see. Uh, okay, I do have the Pokemon for the job right here. Let's go with this guy, and Revenge. Alrighty, I'm getting the hang of this whole, uh, this whole rotation battle. Well, it, 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 well, yeah, it's actually benefiting me right here. Okay. Let's get it. Revenge attack. Let's go. Finish it. And Liper nearly faints right there. So nowhere to go. Let's go with a slash attack. And uh, well, he's going to be going with a torment right here. Oh, God. You suck. There we go. Slash attack. Takes care of that. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. And yeah, buddy. Everybody's getting points. That's nice. That's always nice right there. Okay, so that's not unfamiliar rules. We're just gonna take care, take care, take care of this lady right here. Because we got more challenges along the way right now. And what does Old Girl World has to say? Oh, hey, Pokedex! I see that you're, uh, there is a reason for your journey. There is. Okay. Let's go. I went up against Ruth, and uh, she's coming out with her Minchino. Her Mi Minchino. Yes, that's how you say it right there. Okay, let's go. Let's finish this guy off with a little bit of revenge. And you gotta love that charm attack because it knows that my Pokemon is a physical attacker. No, not much of a physical attacker, but just, you know what I mean. Here we go. Revenge. Oh, yes. Let's get it again. And, it, oh, wow, here comes that wake-up slash. Oh, God. It's using its pimp hand. And here comes the revenge. Yeah, buddy. 
Look at that. And Mancino has been defeated. Oh, yes. Okay, so my Pokemon are doing so good. They're great, and I believe my Pokemon is about to evolve right here. So let's go ahead and switch it to Shatter and just finish this whole thing off right here. And uh, let's see. The Pokemon egg, or not a Pokemon egg, but a, an item right there. Uh, let's see, what does this have to say? Uh, trainer tips? The number of experience points you get after a battle is based on levels. When your Pokemon is weaker than the, uh, its opponent, it will get more. But if your Pokemon is stronger, it won't get any. Well, as any, I, I should say. So let's go right here and uh, see what's on the other side right here. Oh, yes, you can actually heal your Pokemon. Now, this leads to a whole different route, and it has a significant meaning to this, you know, to, to the, the adventure right here. Uh, let's see, who here heals my Pokemon? Uh, talk to this guy. Since your yammering stops, or her yammering stops while she's cooking, it's another uh, bonus for me. Oh, wow. Oh, dick move, man. Let's see, talk to this girl. Let's see. Uh, oh, my, your Pokemon team. It seems all worn out. Rest just a moment for now. Okay, so we're all rested. That's good. And uh, talk to this lady. I'm making a delicious soup with well-stewed vegetables. Sounds good. Vegetarian and all that stuff. Granny's meals are always nothing but vegetables. Hey, man, you need your vegetables. Mega foods. Lots of vitamins and minerals and all that stuff. Okay, so let's continue our adventure right here. And right there, using the balance beam. We are the next Simone Biles. Not really. She's an athlete. She's a freak. Yes, she's a freaky athlete just because, uh, goddamn. You have to have a lot of balance and a lot of skill to get on that balance beam. And, uh, that girl, she's got everything. She's got the skill and everything. Holy crud. Now let's go. Right here. I'll show you our style. My Pokemon and nature are in harmony. Okay. Alrighty. Here we go. Going up against the Swadloon. And uh, the Swadloon is looking all not so happy. So let's go again with Shatter right here. And it's close to evolving. So let's go. Let's get all physical with this Pokemon right here. Headbutt. Yeah, buddy. And, uh, oh crud. Of course you're going to be lowering my speed. Why not? Okay, alrighty. Okay, so let's go right here with the Crunch Attack. And, uh, oh good. Wait, wait. You gotta love that Razor Leaf right there. Not super strong enough, but here we go. Crunch Attack and nearly takes it out. But look at that. Its defense goes down just a little bit more. So here we go. One more. Ah, uh, crud. Here we go with Razor Leaf. So let's get this Crunch. Yeah, buddy. Swadaloo. Defeated. And more Moxie. Completely forgot about this guy's Moxie right there. And uh, he's going to be coming out the Tranquil. So I'm not going to risk it right here. Let's go with Drillmonger. I have not seen you in quite some time. All right, Drillmonger. Let's do this. Do it for all the Drillmonger bitches out there who love you, who want to be with you, who want to be you and all that crap. So here we go. Rock slide for the win. Yeah, buddy. Tranquil had no chance whatsoever. Look at that. Look at that. And he's coming out with a Simipore. Okay, so this is the third evolution that we have yet to see. And we're going to be going with a Stoutland from Scotland. Freaking Ace. Look at that. A good doggy right there. Very, very good doggy. Alrighty. Simipore looks like a... <laughs> wow. I love its dreads. I, I'll tell you that right now. I love its dreads. Blue dreads. Awesome style. But shitty defense. And, uh, oh crud, using its Scald attack. Please don't get burnt, don't get burnt, don't get burnt. Oh crud, and that was a critical hit right there. All right, let's go with the Rock Smash. There we go. Yeah, see me poor. Got your butt kick right there. Wow, it, it's Scald attack really got me right there. Okay, what do you let your Pokemon have? What is their style? I don't know, an Aspier Berry? I didn't really don't know. Okay, so stop talking to me. Okay, so let's, uh, wait, I think I already used a repel. So let's go right ahead and grab some items. Still got more Pokemon trainers to battle. We found ourselves a PP up, the Pokemon Viagra. And, uh, let's see. Let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right now. Let's go with, let's go with Hotshot right here. Let's get this. Pretty sure he's going to have a grass type Pokemon right here somewhere. Alright, what's up? It takes 20 or even 30 years for a tree to be fully grown. 
will you have a Pokemon battle that pleases with the trees? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, let's do this. Another Pokemon Ranger right here. His name is Pedro, and he's coming out with the Salusis right now. Look at that. Salusis. And uh, we're going with the Heavy Duty Tank right here. Hot shot. And... Uh, Let's go with the Fire Punch right here. We don't want to lose HP or lose speed or anything like that. Let's just go with the physical attack. Look at that. Salosis defeated. Oh, yes. And uh, an Axu. Wow. This is the first time for everything. Yes, guys, you can actually get an Axu here. It's just that you're going to have to go through, through some certain cave. And, yeah, I'd rather not wait that long to actually get an Axu. Even though I really, 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 really want to get one. And, and switch it out with one of my teammates and all that stuff, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that to anybody. So here he comes with a Dragon Claw, and believe it, yeah, it's an it's also a very very physical attacker when once it's fully evolved. It's just a bitch to actually uh, to actually train up. And look at that, look at that, look at that, and uh, Pedro. Oh, yeah, you feel satisfied. That's right. Okay, this is what a tree gave me. Another Aspear Berry. You gotta love these Pokemon Rangers for giving us berries and all that crud. Okay, so we finally reached the Celestial Tower right here, guys. So stay tuned. In the next episode, we will be going through the Celestial Tower, taking care of a few businesses right there. And then after that, uh, well, see what happens afterwards. See you guys.